boy was walking along the beach, an Aboriginal boy, and he was picking up starfish and throwing them into the sea. An old Aboriginal man went up to him and said, Sonny, if you look along the beach, there's millions of them. They go for miles. What difference do you hope to make? And he picked up another starfish and he said, it makes a difference to that one. And that's what you've done here in Prospect Road. You've made a difference. Thank you. Well, tonight's not a cultural experience. I don't know what is. We've got the kids in a sea of red. We've got the African twilight market around the corner. We've got our monthly market around there as well. I'm not quite sure what the tall cultural experiences up here at the end are, but you're very, very welcome, uh, madams, I think. <laughs> There's an awful lot happening here. And that is the intention for this road and this space you've got right in front of you now. It's meant to be a place that's enlivened and enlivened by people like you. But really what Council's done is provide a blank canvas. And it's a blank canvas so that you and the businesses along here can really start to colour in what prospect will be what our village heart will be for the future. I said, make sure you've got tables and chairs and umbrellas out there. Get the barber to put a chair out there and shave somebody out there. Get some clothes racks, put the florists, put some stalls there, do some really weird gear, make it a real identity in here in Prospect. And lo and behold, our local artist, Geoffrey Stapleton, within a few days had had a, a, you know, a inspiration to get out there with his easel and he started painting his paintings on the footpath just across the road. Just brilliant. And we asked him, uh, Geoffrey, uh, what inspired you to do that? He said, it came to me in a dream. I mean, just perfect. That's exactly the sort of stuff we want to see happening along here. The eucalypt trees were dropping these little spiky blossoms. And the spiky blossoms were blowing all along the street and piling up in the corner. So that's all these things are. They're little eucalypt blossoms that are scattered along the street. And what they do that's very special, though, is that they have a red, green and blue LED component inside, which has been programmed to shift colour with temperature, with the temperature of the surrounding air. So at this time of the year and at this time of day, you'll probably be predominantly in the red spectrum. Winter, middle of the evening, maybe they'll be blue. The whole idea is that it, it relates you to the site. It, it makes you realise you're part of, of a location. You'll go into a restaurant at night, there'll be one colour, maybe you come out two hours later and there'll be another colour. And it just, it's just about place making. It's about making the journey along the street here just that little bit more interesting because you encounter things along the way. There's no doubt that this is a brave decision for any council so I'd really like to thank the previous councillors who are no longer on council. Councillors Mulber Hill, Amamu, Councillor Newell, Councillor Karahalias, Councillor Fitzpatrick and the late Councillor Stock. Together, I think you're incredibly brave to embark on a project that's the first of its kind in an area where we're not known for doing great big things. But in particular, there's two people. The, the, uh, the CEO of the City of Prospect, Mark Goldstone, has worked with his team to get three projects up in the last two years. I think he's done an incredible job. And he's been ably assisted by the Director for Corporate Services and Major Projects, Justin Commons. Please, please congratulate both Mark and Justin. He's done a fantastic job. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen and kids for coming. I hope you enjoy the space, I hope you enjoy the street. Have a fantastic night, we'll see you later.